1,702 days since the last one. Since the last Nottinghamshire derby. And that day, well, Craig Mikel Smith. But we've been apart for a long time. Not so mansfield. And now 13 games in, here we are again. This fixture. With its early kickoff. Yeah, we've got 100% home record. They're unbeaten in the league this season. Something's got to give, but who knows what it is. Come on, Ox. Come on, you fries. Let's do this. Uh, team news is a bit different. We'll say that. Slow comes in for Stone in goal. Fallows in for Cameron. And then um, Sam Austin's at wing back. Jody Jones is, well, he was on international duty, but he's got a bit of an injury. <laughs> to get the early goal but they've had more of the ball right since on. we've scored. Um they can tell they're a good team. Gotta go into them. Cross got them well drilled. The dangerous in the penalty area, especially from set pieces with Flint and Aikens. We've always got to be careful of Keeler done. They've been the better side since the goal, they've had more of the ball. The pressure's, the pressure's a bit more. I think you've done just hit the post. We've got to press, we've got to press better we have. We've got all slow, slow can do a good ball out to Brindley early on. It started a good attack for us. We need to get it out quicker. We need to distribute it quicker. And get, uh, get it to the wings a bit, a bit, a bit more. There are more, there are better options on. Oh, it wasn't a perfect start, one nil up in two minutes. And then we just seemed to have sat back, let them get into it. And I like us to be a bit more positive, we seem a bit tentative, a bit nervous. And we're not quite there today, and I don't really know why, because the crowd is absolutely outstanding. The crowd is getting the ball running at them. We need to get more of our players in the game because some of them aren't in there, like the man and Palmer. We need to get them in the game more. The man just had a chance to counter attack and he stops. He, sh he should have kept going. I know what he was trying to do. He was trying to look for Macca. We've got three kick out. O'Brien's on for Bostock. He's just gone off injured. I can see what the man was trying to do. He was trying to get Langstaff in because Langstaff was open, but it was being covered by about three players. We need to change some up in a minute because it's just not working. It's been coming. It's been coming. Easy. They've wanted it more than they deserve it. Heads have dropped and we've fallen apart. We're, we're just seeing what the better teams in League 2 look like and they're probably the best team we've come up against this season. Putting it into some sort of perspective, half our team had never played in the Football League two months ago and half of the rest hadn't played in the Football League for about five years. That's maybe the gap, that's maybe what we need to be looking at and how much we've got to develop.
like before I get into this outro, I just want to say uh, I've, my throat has not been great recently. So if, if my voice just gives up halfway through, I do apologise. It's just I've been clearing my throat all week, basically. It's not been good. Um, but yeah, anyways, the game. The first thing is Matsyld very much deserved their win. Um, they pressed as well. They nullified our attacking threats. They were structured very well. Um, defensively, they were very organised. I thought Aidan Flint was the best player on the pitch today. I thought they were um, clinical as well. They took their chance as well. They, they got to the second ball more than us, I thought. But the, the thing is, what's annoying on... Now, this is when I look at knots because... I thought Matsu played very well, they deserved their win, and if you play that game, what, nine or ten more times, they're still going to win that game. I thought, I didn't think we were at the standards, we know we can be, and we'll learn a lot. The thing is, it was, the first half was reminiscent of last week's first half against Barrow. We start well early on, we have the first good opportunity of the game, we were playing, we passed it around quickly, um, created chance, and we get the goal, and it comes from us running at them. And then get into the loose ball first. And then after that, we stopped. Just like we did against Barrow, we stopped. Why did we stop? Throughout the rest of the game, we didn't run at them like we did for our goal. And we didn't win enough of the second ball. Like I said, they wanted it more. And it showed right there. How many more times in that game did you see us running at them and also winning the second ball? You didn't see it enough. And what's annoying about this one is it's our decision making for this one. We didn't need, I don't, in my opinion, I didn't think we needed to go back because we had that chance to go forward in the midfield. Uh, when, when we won the ball back, we didn't need to go back towards the back three. And it's not a foul. It is never a foul. We're slow to react and they score. And it was one off for quite a while. But then... Two set pieces that we undo us. The first one's a really good header. You've got to give it to Bailey Colgill. It is an, it's a cracking header. But after we scored, they were the better team. And then we sort of got some energy and momentum from somewhere near, t near the end of the first half. But the second half, we, we, we didn't uh, start quickly. They started the quicker. I think what's annoying for me is, it felt like after they took the lead at 2-1, our heads dropped. And... It's, I can, I can accept losing, I can accept losing, you know, with a bit of fight, but after we went 2-1 down, we looked a bit deflated, our heads dropped, and we lost a bit, we lost a, a bit of fight within us, it just, it felt like our levels dropped further, and we felt like we were defeated right there and then, even before they scored their third and fourth, it it just not at that point it was like because I think um I said before they scored their second. If they get their second, I'm not sure we're getting back into this because we we haven't created many clear cut chances in the second half. We'll learn from this and Luke Williams, Ryan Harley and the players will know we have to improve and we have to cut out our mistakes and we have to be tougher to play against while also sticking to our principles of wanting to play. Play out from the back. But this this group has gave us some really good times. And what they have done so far for the club should be celebrated and applauded. There will be times like this where you need to show character. You need to bounce back from the low points. They deserve their plaudits on their good days. And we can constructively criticise when we haven't been good enough. It's about that fight and desire to bounce back from bad moments. And today was a bad day. This month was always going to be a tough month. But like I said, it's about how we react. Yes, we move on to Jenningham. If you've enjoyed the vlog, give it a like. Comment down below your thoughts on the game. Stay subscribed if you're subscribed. Subscribe if you're new. Be safe, be champions. And as always, to lose.